Hello, Mr. Harry, Mr. Robin. How are you today? Good. Good? Yeah. Okay, wait. A little bit. Yeah. So today we talk about a uh, graph. Do you remember what is graph? Remember? No. We talk about the graph before. Graph. Uh, I know Ben graph. Oh, yeah, yeah. But ben graph is not exactly like kind of like graph. We're talking about the graph data structure, remember? The tree is also a graph, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. The link list is also a graph, yeah? So graph is like uh, with nodes and edges, right? Yeah, with nodes and edges. So for example, like, and the edge, edge, the graph, the edges in the graph can have directions or no direction. If it has direction, like arrows, yeah, like one to the two, then we call it directed graph. Directed graph, yeah. And if it doesn't have uh, the arrow, we call it what? Undirected graph, yeah. Alright? And directed yeah. graph. My bike is automatic. And graphic graph. And uh, the, the, you can associate the edge with some values, so we call it weight. Yeah? Weight. Right? Okay? Does it make sense? Okay, so now, the task today is very simple. So you're given a star graph. You know what's a star graph? So it only has one... Stars. One in the middle, and then many edges. Yeah, many edges. You have to have one in the middle. So basically, it's like a, a common node connects to all the rest of nodes, right? And then for the only one, one edge between each other nodes to the middle. Okay, so and then you're given this node, a uh, graph, you're given this graph, G, in the format of, uh, in the format of A, B. So a list of that, yeah, edge one, edge two, right? Like some C, D, like that. So this is that from, for example, like A to the B, okay, and then maybe B to the D, okay, something like that, yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah. Have it? So this is the list of the from list of edges for each one is the edges from vertex to two vertex okay so now uh given this graph can you find the one in the middle for example and then and i have a, a, a c here so here will be c to b or b to c doesn't matter okay so as you can see the edge can be represent using two nodes from and to and these can be swapped yeah doesn't matter yeah because it's undirected B is an order thing. Yeah, so any idea? Yeah. Almost, you're very close to it. What's the idea how we're doing this? And we can look, you know what? We can What's this in degree? What does it mean? Of the vertex B. Okay, so let's say in degree of vert vertex B equals equals what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And A index. Let's say this is an iPhone here. I A equals one. I B equals one. So can you tell me what's in degree? In degree of a node B is six. In degree of A D C is all one. So what does this in degree mean? Have it? Right? Oh, oh, oh. Where it could be in before. Before? Not exactly. It's it's a. Okay, so. This one you only can move it here. And yeah. this one you can move one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, quite conclusive. So integrate is the number of edges coming in. Like, yeah? Right? Or out. Or out. Because it's undegree, uh, undirected, so it doesn't matter. So it's not basically the number of edges connected to this point. So integrate of B, look, how many edges? Six, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So can you tell me how do we deal with this problem? Any idea? So how do we find the center one? Come on, it's all very obvious, right? It's in a star graph. There's only one edges, one, one vertex. Vertex, we call it vertex. Yeah, we know that. Vertex, that has the, is it, has the largest is in a, degree, right? In a, or it's a, points in a 3D shape. Yeah, 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 but 2D is there. So if there are n points, points in 2D. so look, n is 7, right? 7, seven vertex, yeah? Right? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So what's the integral of the middle one, given a star graph? What's, how many edges connected to this? Uh, 6. So what's, what, what, what it is? N, what? N is 7, so how many edges connecting to the middle one? Uh, 6. Yeah, I know 6 is what? 6 is N minus. One. Yeah, come on. Okay, so we can compute the integral, right, of each vertex, right? Yeah, and then return the one with the maximum integral. Um, um, am I right? Yeah. And how, what what kind of data structure are we using? Can can we use to compute the in uh, to store the key value pairs? Integral. Key value pairs. Key value pair. No key value pair. What what what's the the thing you like? You know, look at me, back there. What's that? No book. Yes, come on, no book. Okay. Look, let's say, define, find center, okay, center. And we got given this graph, which is the list, right? Right? Look, uh, yeah. So let's say, maybe, uh, Graph, okay, let's say the integral i equal dictionary, right? Dot com. Dictionary, so default dictionary. Dictionary. And integer type, because we are going to store the number of edges connecting to that number, right? Alright? For, let's say, edge, edge 1, edge 2. So edge 1 is this, alright? The first number, edge 2 is the second number. In G, then I, E1, what? I, E2, can you tell me what to do? Yeah. We, uh, because currently, A, B, and then we have an edge connecting, we have an edge connecting between E1 and E2, right? It's undirected. So, what's the integral? What happened to the integral for both vertex? Eric? Very simple. Look, we have a, we we now find find an edge connecting between E one and E two, right? Yeah. And what happened to the integral of both E one and E two? We just need to uh, add one. Yes, yes. Well done. Plus equals one, right? And then here plus equals one, right? Where did you underline? Oh, no, 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 okay. So after this, now we want to we have a I map. We want to return the key which has the most in degree right so do you still remember how we get the maximum return the maximum return the item key in the dictionary which has the largest value all right look return max i right and then you can just do this key equals i dot get that's it so that will return that will return look if 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 a map in, in here is e1 3 and then e2 2 right then you you will return e1 because e1 has the largest value every 3 mm -hmm. right this is me what it means right alternatively you can do this max i dot items right and then key equals lambda lambda a a1 it's a bit complicated Lambda. And then return the first value, yeah. Because this this tells the max function how are we comparing with the uh, how are we comparing and get the max. This item is like e one three e two two a pair a tuple, and then we are telling it that we want to compare with the value, and then you will return this pair, and I I get the t by square uh, uh by the bracket square bracket zero right. My square bracket one is three, but it's, it, this way is simpler. I max i t equals i dot get. I dot get is a method to get a value. Okay, so this is basically telling you that I want to return the key which has the largest value three. So it's the this one, and it become the center. Does it make sense? Yeah. So look, we we can because because all we know we know uh, it's the graph is sent a uh, star, right? Right? So what does it mean? If we found the edge 
which has more than one in degree. It's a center, right? Does it make sense? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So we can just do this. If I E1 bigger than 1, then return E1. And here, if I E2 bigger than 1, return what? Yeah, where not? So what's the time complexity between this one and the other one? It's all oh, oh, n. n. Where n is the number of nodes. Uh, edges. Edges. Edges in a graph, okay? And you can say it's the number of nodes because that yeah, if we, we know that uh, the, in a star graph there are n number of nodes and there are n minus one the number of edges connecting to the center, right? Yeah? Am I right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so can we do better? Can we do maybe. better? Maybe. Can we do better? Maybe I will. But maybe, maybe I won't. A, B, C. Okay. So look, let's do this A, B, and B, D, okay? Uh, <laughs> okay, A, B. <laughs> Eric, look at this square. Let's, let's see good this one, okay? B, A, right? Ooh. This square. And B, D. B, B. And C, B. B. Okay, actually, look at the first two nodes. B, B, C, I so, okay, look. On your TV. So, look, we know this is the first edge, this is the second edge, and A connecting to B, B connecting to D. So, can we find by comparing the first center node, for, uh, comparing the first two nodes? Yeah? Can we do it? Think about it. Look, A. Let's see. If A, e, if A, yeah, the first node, first edge of the first node, right, is also one in one of second edge, then it's a center, right? Yeah. Otherwise, it's B, right? Because look, B appears in both, right? It's a center node because B, B appears in both edges, right? So what does it mean? If it appears, B is the center. It's a center node, right? Then if look A is not in the center, it's not in the both edges. Right? So it's not a center node, it must be on the edge. Right? Yeah? If A is not a center node, B must be a center node, right? Ooh. Am I right? Does it make sense, Eric? Yeah. Because in the in the edge, Ooh. there must be one node Ooh. in the edge, that is a center node, right? Ooh. Does it make sense? Ooh. Yeah? Look at this is star graph. Ooh. Ooh. So every edge. There must be one of the nodes in every edge oh. is the central node, right? Every does it make sense? Yeah. Okay, so look, how, how can we write it? Look. If G, the first node, first node of the first, G0, Eric, look, you tell me, G0 is this one, and G0 is A, right? If E equals G1, 0, if E equals to this one, or G zero zero equals G one what? What should I put here? Zero or one? Huh? Uh, what should, what should I put? Come on, zero is here. What should I put here? One. Yeah. Come on. If we, so basically, if this now is the same as this now or this now, right? Return what? Return what? G zero one. What should I put here? One. Zero. Zero. Yeah. And if not, then return what? G zero what? One. Where that? Does it make sense? If this now is the same as this now or this now, then it must be a central now. Otherwise, this one is a central now. Am I right? Does it make sense? Mm, yeah. What's the time complexity? Oh, n. I. Come on. A one. A one. A one, yes. Because look, I'm I just, just checking. That. But yeah, I, I heard you say O O N. But it's O one, yeah? I heard they have said O G. O G. What's O G? O one, okay. What's the space complexity? O A O O O Very obvious. Come on, are we obvious? One. Yeah, one, 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 one. Must be Which one is better? This one or Vegan or Pimp? This one! Why is that? Because 
Cause what? I think they. <laughs> why? Why this one? O one. Yeah. Why this one is better? O one. And why O one is better than O n? Cause it's quicker. It's quicker. Yeah. Because look, O one means constant. It means no matter how big the graph is, I can always check the first two elements. Am I right? Yes. And that, that's constant time, right? But for the previous one, I need to go through, right? Go through the edges, yeah, to, to count the edges. But not the second approach, remember? The first approach is O N. The second approach is actually not O N. It's O N because we know, we know what? We know this is a star graph, right? So for the second approach, remember, if it's bigger than one, then we return that. Immediately, right? Am I right? Yeah. Do you still remember the second one? Mm. So we check, we count the integree for each item. In degree. Integree of each vertex. And if it's more than one integree, now we return that. So by going through that, look, you can always find the integree more than one for the first two for the first two edges, right? Because look, B. B at the second point at, at the second iteration of the for loop, the B in degree will be what? Alright, alright, will be what? The integree of B going through the first edge is second edge. The integree of B is what? Integree of B is A and the integree. How many edges? There is one edge. The other two edges. How many edges connected to B? Two. Two. Okay, then you. E, e, we found the answer immediately. So for the first two, first algorithm is O n. For the second one is O one. For the third one is also O one, which is quicker. Right? The second and third one is almost the same. Yeah. But this one is more straightforward because it's just using the if. Yeah. Right? Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay, that's it for today. Say bye bye. Bye. Bye.